The Supreme Court is expected to announce a decision by midnight on whether it will wade into the abortion pill battle. The decision could have a major impact on access to medication abortions nationwide, even in states where abortion is legal. Senior congressional correspondent Rachel Scott joins me now, along with ABC News legal contributor Kim Whaley for more. Rachel, I'm going to start with you. Can you tell us what's at stake? What kind of restrictions are we talking about here? So much is at stake here, Mona, because we are talking about the abortion drug mifepristone that is used in more than half of abortions in the United States. So there is a ruling from a lower court that would severely restrict access to it, only allowing approval up to seven weeks of pregnancy instead of 10, require three in-person doctor visits in order to obtain the drug, and no longer allow the pill to be available by mail. And you said it at the top of the show here, if these restrictions are put into effect, this would apply to every single state in the nation, including the 36 states where abortion is still currently legal, Mona. And Kim, we heard Rachel say that a lot is at stake, but what are the court's options and how do you see this playing out? The court could either continue the temporary stay that Justice Alito imposed, and that means stopping that Texas court order um, lift, you know, stopping mifeprestone. That is, he could allow mifeprestone access to be the same as it was for the last 23 years, or he could extend that stay and halt it all pending, uh, or the court could, pending what we call full briefing on the merits, where everything is hashed out in briefs and there's oral argument. Or he could do something in between. I think it's unusual that the court has taken this long to, to, to set temporarily stay a decision on what to do about a stay. So uh, given what happened in Dobbs, that they left what was an unconstitutional law under Roe versus Wade in place pending the decision on whether to reverse Roe versus Wade, my guess is there's some conflict on the court right now what to do about this. They are definitely drawing it out. But Kim, what are the next steps if the court does decide to hear the case? When do you think we can get a ruling? It could take it on an emergency basis, and it's known to have done that in this, this same term, that is in the next few months. That would be unusual. The alternative would be to leave it for the fall and the you know the typical sort of timing for a big case like this. I would suspect that if the court decides to lift the stay, that is to keep in place access to the abortion drug, then it's more likely to wait until the fall. If it extends this ban that was implemented by the Texas judge, I think in that instance, we would more likely see it uh, percolate very quickly in the court and maybe get a ruling in the next few months. While we await that midnight deadline, Rachel, what is the Biden administration saying about the Supreme Court potentially stepping in? Well, they're certainly on edge, just like the rest of the nation, waiting to see which way this actually goes. But they have made it clear they are willing to fight any restrictions for as long as it takes. This is a White House that is very supportive of protecting access to abortion. But really, the crux of this argument that was made by the conservative judge uh, back in Texas is that uh, that this drug should have never been approved by the FDA in the first place. It was approved by the FDA more than 20 years ago. Uh, this judge argued that that should not have happened. And so you have a lot of concern from Democrats, especially on Capitol Hill, who says that this just opens up the floodgates, that if you take mifepristone off of the market, something that was approved by the FDA, what other drug could possibly be next, Mona? All right, Rachel Scott and Kimberly Whaley, thank you both for joining us. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.